Monday, I have to catch a flight in a few hours to go back to New York City. And so I'm getting ready to go on my flight back and just packing and mentally just thinking about everything that I have to do. I just feel a lot of guilt when it comes to my professional job because my laptop stopped working on Friday so I couldn't do any work and I had a factory reset my computer and today I'm catching a flight and flying back to New York always takes like an entire day i have a few tasks i have to do on the flight there i also have a doctor's dentist appointment in a few hours like right before i leave too <sighs> my mom always makes fun of me when i pack and when i say it makes fun she actually just bullies me i guess i'm an overpacker i'm not really sure i thought i wasn't Also, every time I pack, my dog starts looking at me kind of weird. And I think he knows. I think he knows whenever I bring out the suitcase that I'm going away for a little bit. I wish I was one of those girls who are really good at packing. Like when I have packing tubes for everything. But obviously, I just use Ziploc bags and then I just shove them in this bag. Once we do start our boarding process, we'll board any of our priority pre board guests. Looks like the flight time from gate here in Denver to LaGuardia is 3 hours and 50 minutes. sleep of my life it was amazing it's 3 15 p.m i'm eating my first meal of the day which is awful if you knew me as a kid i was really anal about eating breakfast just because i was like i have to eat or i'm gonna die and i can't function but now as an adult and i think it's like a mix of working this job i just stopped eating breakfast my breakfast is coffee that just kind of keeps me going until like midday my partner and I made this pasta yesterday. It said it's only supposed to take an hour to prep and cook everything, but man was in the kitchen for a good two and a half hours before we started eating. It was insane. So I'm just eating the leftovers from that, paired with this bitter melon water that my partner also made. He actually brought the bitter melon from his father's garden back in California, which is really cute. This is the first time I've had bitter melon water. This is his favorite. It is just a very interesting flavor. Like I've just I've never had anything like this. It's not the worst. I'm really good at eating gross things because I grew up drinking hanyak, which is great. Taste doesn't really bother me, but like, would I ever crave this? No. I got a new desk, by the way, which is really exciting. I got her off Facebook Marketplace as I get all of my furniture in New York City. And then I moved my old desk to the studio, which is nice. I need to do some work, so let's get into it. Good morning! Um, 
Um, today I have a few back-to-back -back meetings. I think another really hard thing about being a product designer is that most of your week is like meetings and then you don't actually get a lot of focus time to sit down in Figma and just move things around and actually design. So I feel like a lot of your designing time happens after 5 p.m. I feel like I've had a lot of times during my work experience where I'll just take a day off and just decline all the meetings and just pixel push for hours. And so it's weird because it's like, I'm not even taking time off. It's more, I just have strictly dedicated time to design. It's so strange. And I do that because I don't want to keep working or I just feel like completely burnt out by the end of the day from back-to-back -back meetings. And I can't just like keep staring at a computer until like 9 p.m. every day. I just, I can't do it. I know that it's not atypical because I have other product design friends and they also kind of go through that similar thing where they just don't really have time to design in Figma during the workday. And so it just bleeds into after hours. 